So hey guys, as of today, in one of the biggest recession ever, you can see there are more people unemployed in America as compared to the entire population of Canada. And not only this, there's a possibility that unemployment rate might even hit 25% in America. So I know that you have been practicing coding problems every day on Algo Expert, and you've also taken a lot of courses to find your next job on educative.io, but along with the right resources, it is also important to use the best resources to find jobs as well. So that's why we have X Google, X Facebook, and X Microsoft engineer who will be giving us the best tips to find your next job in this recession. Yes, I've seen a lot of students on LinkedIn, even from my school, George State University, they have their offers not just rescinded, but also delayed like a couple of months, which is even more scarier than, of, than an offer getting rescinded. So hey Nick, can you please give us some advice of finding jobs in COVID situation? Happy to help Pranur. I actually wrote a guide in the link below, which you can find about how to find and land tech jobs during coronavirus. Um, it's definitely a tough situation we're in, and I'm not gonna lie, it's not gonna be easy, because you're right, companies are canceling jobs, companies are rescinding offers, companies are slowing down hiring, like my own startup, SafeGraph, has slowed down hiring. It's a tough situation, but I'm here to help. Let's dive into it. Yep, absolutely. So first question would be, how to get started with the job search? Right, so there's actually a bunch of lists of companies that are still hiring during coronavirus because not every company has been affected and not every company has been impacted so in the link below you'll find a list of a bunch of different other lists that have a bunch of companies that are still hiring and then from there you want a cold email and i've talked to you and your audience about the value of cold emailing previously but cold emailing is where you write an email without knowing a person you need a cold email your way to getting these jobs because everyone's going to be applying online. Wait, wait, wait. I remember you talked about cold emailing in the previous video. Does it still work in this situation? Absolutely, Hernur. It's crazy. Cold emailing still works, yet people still aren't doing it, which is exactly why it's a strategy I recommend. Here at SafeGraph in the last month, I think we got like two or three personalized cold emails out of like maybe... 50 emails sent to us out of like a thousand job applications. So it's really looking like maybe under 1% of people send a personalized cold email, even though it takes 10 minutes and separates you out from the rest of the people. People aren't doing it, which is why I think, especially during coronavirus, when there's so few jobs and so many people applying to them to really stand out, you're going to want to cold apply. So can you provide any tool to do cold emailing because writing an email is more work as compared to applying like five firms at once? I feel you. Um, it is a ton of work. Um, what I would recommend is there's a great tool called massupply.com, which is linked in my guide. And that lets you reach out to recruiters directly. It kind of has loaded in the recruiter information already and oh. list companies that are still hiring. So in like one click, you can kind of write a personalized email without having to look up a recruiter's like email address. So it's a tool I recommend. I also, in the link below on my own website, talk about just general tips to writing effective cold emails because Hernur, that's how I got my job at SafeGraph. I cold emailed our CEO so I can attest this strategy works and it's more important than ever during COVID-19 to be using it. Absolutely agree. Now, next question would be how to approach towards companies. They're like, the list is so long. It's just like endless, even though in this situation, I can apply to tons of firms. So how should I shortlist among these so many links and like companies? Yeah, it's, it's tough here. You really have to like focus on the things that you want to work at. Honestly, there's no easy answer. Spray and pray just applying everywhere doesn't work. And it's exam why I recommend cold emailing. It's because cold emailing takes time and most applicants don't even take the time to like personalize something, which is why it works so well. So honestly, Hernur, I have no simple answer besides you have to do the damn work and filter it yourself and write these damn emails. And also you said like in your guide, there might be more opportunities. How is that true in, in this pandemic? Yeah, so it's tough to say on an absolute number, but I'll tell you that there's definitely new opportunities opening up that weren't there before. And here's why employees are super expensive. So while maybe full-time job offers are not there in big supply, job offers for part-time work or contracting work are up because a business doesn't want to invest in salary for one person for one year, but they might be okay with you working 20 hours a week for the next few months. 
because businesses are scared to commit. So those things are popping up. I'll tell you in my own company, SafeGraph, we've delayed a marketing hire, but we made up for it by having a marketing intern. So a marketing intern actually cold emailed us about two or three weeks ago and we hired him. And we weren't planning, Hernor, to hire interns. We weren't planning to hire an intern this summer, but because we said, listen, we pushed back a full-time hire. The intern is only here for the summer. He seems really good. He wrote a personalized cold email. Let's do it. So in that way, an internship that wouldn't have existed exists now, and the intern is there at SafeGraph doing that marketing thing, even though we hadn't planned it a month ago. I get it, Nick, but what if I still can't figure out anything? Yeah, I mean, it is a tough situation. It's not going to be easy. What I recommend is you work on your portfolio, right? And I've talked about portfolio projects with you. That's the best way to have like a standout resume. I have links below about how to make a kick-ass data science project as well as how to win hackathons. This is the time to invest in your skills and invest in projects because even though there's such few opportunities, if you make a really good Android app, for example, with real users, or you win a hackathon and you have a really cool project you can talk about, you're going to be standing out from the rest. And even though hiring has really slowed down, obviously there's still jobs to be had. That's why those lists of companies that are still hiring exist. And you putting in that time and effort now with when you don't have a job will pay dividends in the future when the economy resets and things get back to a new normal. So thank you so much, Nick, for the tips. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through the list of the companies which are still hiring and apply one by one. Absolutely, Hernur. And I hope you and all your fans of Hernur sing in USA, stay safe and healthy, and we get through this all together. Absolutely. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you.